Five singer Adam Levine has broken his silence after the Super Bowl performance that was largely mocked by rock fans everywhere, which stems from Adam Levine's adverse remarks made in a Variety interview last year, saying that rock music is nowhere really, I don't know where it is, if it's around, no one invited me to the party, all the innovation and incredible things happening in music are in hip hop. That created a lot of backlash for Adam Levine in the rock world, mainly from Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor, who said, just because you claim to have moves like Jagger doesn't mean you come anywhere close to rocking like Jagger. Tell that schmuck to go back to the voice. So Adam has made a post on his Instagram about the performance last night, but as a result of this performance, there was a, I guess you could call a former fan of Adam Levine who posted about his rock music quote, on Instagram back in December, who said Adam Levine actually commented on their post about this with a lengthy reaction, which was quite condescending. And we're just learning about this now. He commented directly on this individual's post. Uh, he didn't post it to his profile, which is why uh, very, very few people saw it and we're just now seeing it. But they have posted online his response and we've been able to verify the authenticity of his comment from his verified account on this uh, public post, you can see it very clearly. So first last night, Adam Levine posted, when we accepted the responsibility to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show, I took out my pen and just wrote some of the words that came to me in that moment eventually made their way onto the incredible lanterns that flew high and low tonight. We thank the universe for this historic opportunity to play on the world's biggest stage. We thank our fans for making our dreams possible. And we thank our critics for always pushing us to do better, one love. So this user's post said, this is an actual quote Adam Levine gave to Variety. This pisses me off. I mean, what an idiot. Rock music will never die. It never has and never will. I guess he's just too into what's on pop radio to pay attention to the newer rock acts and all those who came before him that are still rocking today. This is a quote from someone who is close-minded about music, is a total hypocrite, and he has also turned into someone who cares too much about what's popular and whatever sells records. You didn't used to be this narrow-minded, Adam. I'm disappointed and this honestly makes me so sad. Remember where you got your start and the music you used to claim you loved. Adam responded saying, okay, I'll bite. Context is everything. When it comes to nostalgia and history, some of the best songs ever written were all rock and roll all the way. Rock and roll is a rich part of my history as a music lover, and I'll never turn my back on the classics. In the quoted section that you ripped out of its context and posted, of course, my words look pretty narrow-minded. If you took a moment to think, you'd realize that looking to the future doesn't mean I've turned my back on the past. I was simply alluding to the fact that the old version of rock and roll hasn't evolved much in many, many years. You don't have to like what we do now to each their own, but try listening to the whole story. It's merely a broad strokes look at the evolution of music. Ask 20 high school kids what they're listening to. All 20 will say hip hop, just as we were listening to rock and roll. Personally, I think it's awesome to look at what younger people are listening to. Keeps me connected to the kid I was when I got started. It's the marriage of those two generations that hopefully yields something new. Maybe you're the one who's too narrow-minded to realize that hip-hop is the new rock and roll. Travis Scott is the new punk rock, but you're just a punk. I didn't get to where I was by having a narrow view of music's broad and sophisticated landscape. So spare me the rock and roll will never die shit. It just makes you sound like a dinosaur, bro. Rock on. <laughs> Oh, man, he's pissed. He's mad. And you know what? He's taken a lot of criticism from people, understandably. A lot of criticism for the halftime show. And uh, that's totally understandable. But the halftime show did suck. It wasn't good. Um, it, it was not good. There's it, just something odd about watching people getting really pumped up for a football game, about to run into each other like a, a car crash between two individuals getting pumped up to she will be loved by maroon five it's sort of an odd situation there who knows who knows but obviously adam levine is uh was was pretty ticked off about that whole uh rock and roll is dead comment situation or wh whatever you want to call it anyways let us know what you think of the comments about this situation and thanks so much for joining us don't forget to check out these recommended videos and you can subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. Thanks as always for joining us and we'll see you all very soon.